So now we're going to go through achieving gains from trade. So we know that before the trade, Joe was producing 15 burgers and 15 bars an hour, and Jack was producing 5 burgers and 5 bars an hour. Now that we have that out of the way, let's have J uh, Jack and Joe specialize in what they're good at. That what I'm what I mean is let's have them make what they're uh, what they're good at. So what they have a comparative advantage in. So Jack and Joe produce the the good in which they have a comparative advantage. So that for Jack that would be bars, and for Jill that would be burgers. So Jill makes thirty burgers and zero bars, and Jack would make zero burgers and uh, thirty bars. So Jill makes 30 burgers, 0 bars, Jax makes uh, 30 bars and 0 burgers. Now that we have that out of the way, uh, we know we see that Jill and Jack are producing only one item. Uh, burgers and burgers for Jill, bars for Jack. Now we're going to have Jack and Jill trade. So Jill sells Jack 10 burgers and buys 20 bars. So she's going to have her... Uh, sell 10 burgers which I abbreviate by S so she'll sell 10 burgers and she buys 20 bars now for Jack for Jack let's have him buy uh, buy 10 burgers buy 10 burgers and sell 20 bars and sell 20 bars so those are the quantities uh, traded now after the trade after the trade what will happen what are the quantities they will have after the trade? After the trade, Jill will have 20 burgers and 20 bars, while Jack will have 10 burgers and 10 bars. So the gains from trade is that Jill actually increased her burgers and bars by 5 an hour, and Jack actually increased his burgers and bars by 5 an hour. So we're going to have all these plus 5s here, and that one's already written down. I don't know why, but it's already written down. So let's let's have a, a once over. So then um, before the trade, Jill was making 15 and 15. Jack was making 5 and 5. After the trade, Jill was making 20 and 20, Jack 10 and 10. So they're, both Jill and Jack increased their production by 5 by trading. Well, they increased um, the amount they can produce by trading. And that is the advantages of trading and com having comparative advantages. Uh, both, uh, both parties can win in a trade. And that's all I want to teach you for today. Uh, if you haven't already, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And other than that, I'll see you guys again next time where, where we'll look at some graphs, uh, some graphs with respect to uh, what we went through. Thanks for watching.